in addition to my normal um, academic work, um, I also uh, have a sideline as a computer programmer. And uh, ever since I was in graduate school, I have been developing and enhancing software that enables people to read um, databases of uh, Latin and Greek texts, along with dictionaries and other sort of uh, other sort of helps um, for reading. And uh, so this is a project um, I call Diogenes, named after the Greek philosopher who um, scorned worldly possessions, because when the time uh, was that I started on this project, um, all of the alternatives were commercial um, uh, software offerings, and uh, this is free open source software. And uh, so uh, all of those commercial offerings have, as they tend to do, um, fallen by the wayside. They're no longer supported, no longer available. And so um, uh, my software is, is pretty much the only game in town. And um, the databases it works with are still the most comprehensive um, uh, uh, downloadable databases of classical Latin and ancient Greek texts. So this project started as something that um, I did just to um, uh, support my own research as a graduate student. Um, I then published it on the internet um, for um, weirdos and computer geeks, that very small intersection of uh, the Venn diagram of people who, who are interested in Latin and Greek and people who are, who are computer geeks. Um, but as time went on and as other software um, uh, uh, fell by the wayside, I had lots of requests from from other people saying, "Could you make could you make the software work uh, work on on a Mac and work on Windows?" And so over the years, I've done that, and um, I now um, uh, support all of those different platforms, um, which is a lot of work for one person because quite a lot of commercial software um, uh, development houses um, will only support one platform and uh, and not multiple. Um, so uh, this is something that I've been doing for uh, for a long time, and I find it um, extremely rewarding. Um, because, uh, you know, with um, academic research, you're writing for a very narrow uh, audience. Um, but uh, with this, I get emails from all over the world, um, especially uh, uh, gratifying when I get emails from places like uh, like Latin America and China, um, from people who say that they have uh, no access to any good libraries or dictionaries or, or, or classical texts, and this is their only way of, uh, of reading widely um, uh, in, in classical literature. Um, so that's been incredibly uh, valuable to me uh, uh, in terms of um, you know just uh, having uh, having some connection with the world outside of the classroom and, and outside of my narrow um, subspecialism. And so um, I'm actually quite grateful to, uh, to the impact agenda for having made room for this kind of work um, in my uh, in my uh, in my job. And so I'm very pleased to have um, put forward Diogenes as an impact case study for my. Uh, for my department in the current round.